do you have nematodes in your cornfields? Well, if you've been watching some of the advertisements running across the country in various venues, you may have heard by now that you might have a nematode problem out in your corn. So we want to talk about nematodes and what you can do to stop them. All right, I got a little story for you here about nematodes, and this goes back over 25 years ago. So when I was in college and right after college, I did a bunch of work for FMC. At the time, FMC was mainly an insecticide company. Their number one product was Furidan. Well, they sent me down into northern Nebraska to spend some time with those people down there, and they were selling one pile of Furidan down there, and I just assumed, coming from South Dakota, it was because of the rootworm issue, a lot of continuous corn. Well, I started talking to farmers, and they go, uh, yeah, we're a little concerned about rootworms, so we're way more concerned about nematodes. We love Furidan because it's an nematicide also. And I thought, what? Nematodes? Really? You have nematodes that bad? Yep, we do. So if we didn't have Furidan, if we didn't have a good nematicide, we would just be getting clobbered on corn yield. So, of course, I started thinking, well, maybe we have a nematode problem on our farm. So we started comparing counter, for example, is also a nematicide. We started comparing counter side by side with products like Force and Aztec that really have no ne nematode activity. Well, what we started finding is uh, the counter was always yielding less. Okay, so if we had a nematode problem, then the counter should have yielded a lot more than the force of the Aztec. Well, force and Aztec are just a little bit better on rootworm. Obviously, our problem was rootworm. It had very little to do with nematodes. Now, that's not to say that you don't have nematodes on your farm. Everybody has nematodes. The question is, are they harmful nematodes? And how bad are they? How thick are they? All right, so obviously a lot has changed in 25 years. You can talk about uh, many different aspects of our farm and how yields have changed and even the insects and weeds that we're fighting, those kinds of things. The, the question is, do you have corn nematodes and do you have the harmful ones? Well, the only way to find out is to do a test. You definitely can take soil tests, send them into labs, and have them determine how many nematodes you've got out there. I think that's a great strategy. If I was considering using the new Nema Strike or using Votivo or the soon to be released Votivo 2.0, or if I was looking at nematodes in other crops as well, I'd want to know what I got in my field. So just like we test for nutrients, I feel it's a good idea to do some tests for nematodes. Now, uh, if you're out there testing for <laughs> nematodes, where do you pull that sample? That's With right. soil that's samples, we randomly pull throughout the field. With nematode samples, we often want to pull somewhere in that root mass. That way we know where we're at. So is now the best time of year to do it? I don't know about that, but it's the best time we've got between now and spring to go out and do some nematode testing. So it may be something to at least get a baseline for your farm. Okay, so another way to handle this would be to take one variety treated with Nemastrike, for example, or maybe Votivo. Uh, that's a biological nematicide, the Votivo. Nemastrike is chemical and compare that versus the same exact variety without that seed treatment. And then run some strips across your farm. So now you get a whole bunch of testing as opposed to just a little sample here or there. If you haven't done it before, what's to say that it's going to start paying for you now? I, I agree, you can do some strip trials. The other thing you can do is look at the land grant universities in your area and say, what corn nematode trials have you run? Have you done some of this with yep. the new products? Do you have any soil tests that we could see from our area to kind of have an idea if there is a nematode issue? Well, rather than trying Nemastrike that's chemical or Votivo that's a biological, you also could go back to counter or some other nematicide. Now I would just say this, I don't think any of these products is going to be perfect and kill every single nematode out in your field, nor would we want them to kill every single nematode out in the field because some are actually beneficial. But all we really care about at the end of the day is, are we going to get yield gain and enough yield gain to make this pay? So I'm super skeptical that it's going to work everywhere. I'm very enthusiastic about using these products in certain markets. And then it's basically up to you to figure out, hey, is it going to pay for me or is it not? Well, it's very intriguing. And especially if you're in a continuous corn rotation where you know, hey, I've got a host crop out there every single year. My odds of having more harmful nematodes out there are pretty high. That would be a great place to do one of these trials like you're talking about, Brian, because the yield data is compelling when you see, hey, here's what's happened over a broad area. Now let's see what happens on our local area and especially in these situations like continuous corn that could be a hotbed for these harmful nematodes. Yep, so once again, we're just going to lay it out here for you. You absolutely have nematodes in your field. There are probably some that are harmful. 
The question is how many of those are harmful and that's what you're gonna have to figure out. You can use Darren's method of testing. I'm not a real big believer in that because there's so much variance across fields. What I'd rather have you do if you are worried about this is either run some trials on your farm or have your neighbor or your brother run some trials and find out if in your area these types of things are paying. Well, one thing we definitely know pays is weed control. We'll show you how to stop our weed of the week coming up later in the show.